All right, so let's get started. Screencastify runs as a Chrome extension in your Google Chrome browser. So we're gonna install the little icon that we'll use to do our recordings up in the top right hand corner of Google Chrome. And the easiest way to do that is to go to screencastify.com and click on this add to Chrome button. So once we do that, we hit add extension and then Google Chrome starts to install that Chrome extension into the browser. And then it'll show up right up here in this in this top right hand corner where and see there it is right there. And now we can see the little pinkish reddish icon. And once it's there, the first thing that we've got to do to make sure that it works correctly is we've got to actually log into Screencastify. So once I've clicked on that, um, once I've clicked on that Chrome extension button. I can come down here and uh, go through the different steps. And the first one is to sign into Google. Notice that there's this little checkbox right here that says automatically save videos to Google Drive. This is, it says highly recommended and I highly recommend it too because it's really nice to be able to take those videos that you record and immediately stick them into your Google Drive, which is great for students. Uh, because then they can take their videos and do things with them straight out of their drive. And it's also great for us as teachers uh, to be able to do that as well um, so that we can show students our videos pretty quickly. So we're going to hit sign into Google Drive. We're going to continue on here. Okay, so now that we're actually logged in, it'll ask us to um, allow... Screencastify to view and manage our Google Drive files. That's just so that we can save those videos in. So we hit allow there, move on to second one, the second set, which is the permissions, where we allow our camera and microphone as well as drawing and annotation tools. This basically just allows Screencastify to do all of the cool things that we want to the videos. So we hit next and we allow it to do all of those things. You wanna have this little pop-up over here and make sure that you allow those. And then finally, it asks us to tell a little bit about ourselves. Now, if you're a teacher or any form of educator, you definitely wanna click this. And that's actually really nice because um, it sort of configures Screencastify for you and will also send you some tips for using it as an educator by email. Um, if you're doing this with students, definitely make sure that they click the student. So pick the one that, that fits you best. So we'll click educator and then it asks what education level you're on. And then when you're done, now you're ready to record. And it even opens up this little video that shows you how to record a video. And so after that, now we can actually dig into some of the great features and uses of Screencastify.